Dear parents, the purpose of this video is to explain the different options available for online music lessons with Kumbi's Music Company. The first option is live lessons. These are live one-to-one -one lessons, and this format works well where there is a stable internet connection. The lesson is scheduled like a normal in-person lesson, and at the, at the appointed time, the instructor and the learner will dial in um, via a link that we provide on, uh, on, a, on a video calling platform, and the instructor will provide tuition using a combination of live demonstration on the assist on the computer, as well as referring um, to resources, either, um, video resources or workbooks or whatever it is that they need for that particular lesson. At the end of the lesson, homework will be provided on the learning management system, which is available for the student and uh, the parents to log in at home. And within the system, you can view the recordings that the teacher has uploaded to help the people learn whatever skill it is. And you will also be able to upload recordings of the student's own practice and any worksheets that are complete can be fit. The photo can be taken and uploaded to the learning management system for the teacher to review by, before the next lesson. Another option is blended live lessons. This is an alternative lesson where an uh, option where there are problems with internet connectivity. If connectivity isn't strong, then what would happen is that we would start off the lesson with a live call between the teacher and the student. This can be a video call or it can be um, just a, a voice call. And then the teacher would explain what is going to be covered in the lesson. The teacher might um, share their screen and show the pupil where to go within the learning management system to find the resources they need for the lesson. But the call is ended. The pupil goes through the activities that are set. However, there is a chat option within the learning management system and the teacher is live on their system for to communicate with the student. If the student is struggling with something particular, they can you know, type in the chat, oh help, I need help with something, or I don't understand this. The teacher can can jump back in on the video call, explain what is what whatever is needed, uh, and 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 they can interact like that uh, until the lesson is over. At the end of the lesson, a final call is made to review the work done. Uh, perhaps the pupil is able to um, give a live demonstration of what they've done in the lesson, or um, they have uploaded a video. If again, if the internet uh, live internet streaming isn't working very well. Then the students can upload a video to show what they've done. She and the teacher, or he and the teacher, can review this together on the platform. And then any additional uh, um, help and support is provided. And then the homework is set for the next lesson. A third option is pre recorded lessons. And this is where all of the lesson content is pre recorded and uploaded to the learning management system. The learner accesses the material at a convenient time. The homework is recorded and updated and uploaded to the learning management system by the due date. So this is the learner going through the material, doing the homework, um, doing the demonstration videos, demonstration orals, um, any workbooks, any writing, any composition, anything that's required for the lesson. They do everything, upload it to the learning management system. And then the instructor reviews um, and provides feedback and, and, and prepares the next lesson. And then that is uploaded again. So for the pre-recorded lessons, there's no live element at all. Um, all of the learning and the teaching happens offline. Now, you may be thinking, which online lesson is for me? I think the first thing we need to consider is whether or not the learner has access to a musical instrument. And we've put together this decision tree to help you decide what to do. If um, the learner has a musical instrument, then the next question is, is the, is the instrument in tune and in good condition? If it's not in tune and if it's not in good condition, we can recommend tuners or repairmen to fix it. If there is no instrument at all, then we are able to provide details of vendors that uh, we have used in the past that we can recommend and who are able to provide installment uh, payment plans on the musical instruments and deliver them to your home as well. If purchasing an instrument is not an option, then you can consider going for music lessons that do not require a physical instrument. So you can consider singing lessons, music theory, 
music appreciation. That's where we would study uh, perhaps classical music um, and, you know, just go through the different types of classical music, um, different composers, looking at the lives of different composers. We can look at different genres of music. We can look at African uh, music styles. We can look at um, contemporary music styles. A whole there's, there's a whole heap of things that comes under music appreciation. Or we can also have songwriting and composition using online um, um, tools that are available, freely available um, for the student with a computer uh, to use um, to, to, to write um, pieces of music, short compositions, um, that kind of a thing. If there is an instrument available to the learner and the instrument is in good condition, then you would need to consider another set of questions. And this would be, um, is the um, device, does, sorry, does the learner have a device, an internet enabled device? Because you need an instrument, you need a musical instrument, and you also need a, a, a device. So that could be a laptop, it can be a desktop, and it can be a tablet computer. But it needs to be of a good size screen, 10 inches or more, just so that there's a decent surface, um, surface area for the learner to be able to see and end, end demonstrations by the teacher. Then you also need to consider, is the device available for exclusive use by the student, by the learner um, at their lesson time? Then you need to consider, while the lesson is on, does the learner have exclusive access to the internet in the course of the lesson? Now, by this, we mean there is no heavy usage by other users in the house. So I guess, um, while the lesson is on, depending on the quality of internet available to the learner, it may not be possible for somebody else to be streaming their live video at the same time or even gaming. So you may need to ensure that nobody else is using um, the internet connection for the period of the lesson in, in, in a way that would perhaps interfere with the quality of the connection. If all of those things are a yes, then you can opt for live one-to-one -one video lessons or you could also consider the blended learning. Where the internet connectivity is an issue, then obviously the blended learning is probably the best way forward. If for whatever reason, perhaps there is um, the device that the pupil would use is being used by the parents at work and is not available in the daytime hours to the student, then the other option is that we would pre-record the lesson and then maybe over the weekend or in the evening, the student can go through the material and then, as I've described before, um, the learning can happen via the learning management system on an offline basis. Both the live lessons and the pre-recorded lessons are supported by our um, comprehensive learning management system, which all the books are preloaded uh, onto the system. The needs of each individual and that is available on the platform. Over the next few weeks, um, we are offering a complimentary demonstration lessons for anybody who is interested in having online music lessons using any of these formats. Please do not hesitate to contact us. We will walk you through it. And we'll make sure that you have all the information um, and all the help that you need to make a success of online learning. Even though we're all in isolation, learning does not have to stop. And at, here at Cumbies Music Company, we are ready and we are able to help you. So please get in touch um, and we would be too happy to help.